Right, so let's get started. In this video tutorial, we're going to take you through the necessary steps to email a selection of photographs to an end user. By hitting my spacebar or double clicking on a photograph, I'm able to get back to the thumbnail view. I'm going to select randomly a number of photographs to email, and this I do by holding down the control button and clicking on the relevant uh, photographs that I wish to email. So I'm going to select that one, select this one, select that one, and this one too. I'm now going to move up to the email photos icon where I get a dialog box that presents me with a number of options. And I'm going to choose to resize the photos. And I'm going to select large. Many mailboxes have limitations and therefore emailing a number of photographs will often be rejected by the mail service. So in this instance, it will compress my files still giving me a decent quality and it makes it easy to be able to create an email with a number of photos. Clicking on renaming the photos, I like to do this as the naming convention that sits in my library might not have any reference to anybody else. So here I'm going to choose an option, unique name, uh, one of n, and I'm going to type in a unique name of Earth Photos. And I'm going to choose to include my copyright information. As photographers, we need to be mindful of the fact that we have to protect our interests. So I'm going to choose include copyright information. And I have also the option of including a watermark. This is particularly helpful if you are sending photos uh, possibly to a client for selection reasons. And you're wanting them to choose which photos uh, they wish to buy or wish to have printed. Um, but in this instance, I'm going to leave that off and I'm going to create email. The photos are immediately exported and as you can see, there they are. And you can see the file sizes have been dramatically reduced.